What's up, CYN Esports? This is Eric with our devotional for the week. Uh, before I get into that, I just want to say uh, thanks for everyone who came out to Fortnite Friday and Friday. It was a lot of fun. It was good to see you and good to have some fellowship. But it's cool that there's some no new people in the mix as well. So I want to encourage you just to continue to invite your friends and uh, have people involved in the Discord. And we're, ex we're excited to see how this will grow and how God will use this. Um, I also want to encourage you to continue to participate in the prayer chat in the Discord. And I also want to let you know that um, with everything going on in the world today with the pandemic globally and with many of the uh, difficult uh, issues with, uh, with uh, racism and police brutality happening, just want to encourage you when you are experiencing um, pain, when you're experiencing doubt, when you're experiencing fear, to um, skip the chain of the command and go straight to the Lord, to pray to him, to reach out to him. Um, he hears your cries and he understands what everyone is going through. So we just want to encourage you to continue to go and turn to him and to seek him for guidance. Um, these are scary days and, and I don't have all the answers, but I know that when I seek the Lord, when I turn to him, that he can comfort my soul. And we just pray for those who are, are so hurting in the world right now, our brothers and sisters in Christ, many who are uh, people of color. Um, God is with you and, um, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all that you're experiencing right now. All right, let's turn to our... Uh, devotional uh, comes from this book, Live in Grace, Walk in Love by Bob Goff. And the title is God doesn't try to entice us with success or punish us with failure. He wants to captivate us with purpose. And the scriptures from Romans 8, which says, I'm convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And this is what Bob has to say today. <clears throat> when we were kids, uh, for many of us, life seemed to spin on a cycle of rewards and punishment. Life was uh, performance-based. If we got straight A's or hit the home run, we could go out for ice cream or on that camping trip with the Boy Scouts. If we struck out in a relationship or failed a friend or embarrassed our family, we were grounded. It was as if love would be given and withdrawn uh, like the movements of the tide. It was about what we did more than who we were. It was only natural to assume God worked the same way. Do good things and succeed and you receive love and approval from God. Mess up and love is withdrawn. If only we could remind ourselves more often that God never cares about the grades on our report cards. He wants us to make it all about his love, not our performance. And he's a whole lot more concerned about our character than our accomplishments. He doesn't find joy in our success. He delights in our attempts. God's response to our success is love, not merely approval. And God's response when we fail is massive love. Nothing will separate you from his love. Money and big houses and status aren't what God offers us if we behave ourselves. He doesn't punish us with loss or sickness when we make a mess of things. And there are consequences. Are there consequences when we fail? You bet. Often, in fact, but, off, but one of them isn't that God pulls away. The opposite occurs. He draws close to us. He wants us to put our passion into action because he knows it is our pursuit of him where we find our greatest joy. He wants us to be captivated with purpose, regardless of whether it looks like worldly success. If you find yourself believing God stacks all your successes on one side of a scale and all your failures on the other to measure how you're doing, remember that the only curve he grades on is all, always tips towards his extravagant and inexplicable love. That's good news for us today. And the question he ends this is, what success or failure has been getting in the way of you experiencing God's deep love for you? I know in my life, the failures are things th that I've experienced where I've, I've kept in a very deep down and I thought no one would ever want to see this. And yet um, God sees that and he knows who I am and he still loves me. It says nothing can separate us from his love. He knows us completely and he loves us completely. And that's good news. So I pray that you'd be encouraged by that today. 
pray that you continue to grow in your faith and that you'd seek community with others and that you'd share your faith as well. Yeah, that's all I have for today. God bless you and, and pray for those in the world that are hurting right now. Bye.